Hi guys, welcome. Today I want to talk to you about what the Langstroth beehive is. This style hive was invented in the 1850s by a man named Lorenzo Langstroth, and not only do we still use it today, but it's the most commonly used beehive in the United States. Essentially, a Langstroth hive are rectangular shaped boxes stacked on top of one another that contain frames the honeybees will use to store pollen, nectar, and breed baby bees in. Now I am going to deconstruct this hive so we can take a look inside, but before I do that, I'll just quickly go over the external components that we can see. On the bottom here we have our bottom board, above that we have our deep box, um, this is also referred to as a brood box and it's the area of the hive that the bees will use to store their own resources that they need and to breed baby bees in, which are also known as brood. And up top here I have a medium box which also is referred to as a honey super. This is the area of the hive that the bees will store extra honey after their brood boxes are full of resources. And up top here we have our outer cover. Now how many boxes you're gonna have on your hive is gonna depend on your preference as a beekeeper, um, what your colony needs, and also your climate. I live in Ohio, so it's recommended that I have two brood boxes on my beehives so my bees have enough resources to get through our cold winters. All right guys, let's take a look inside. Here on the top we have our outer cover. It's also known as a telescoping cover. It does have overhang on all sides of our hive to help with ventilation and to help keep rain, snow, etc., out of our hives. And underneath that we have our inner cover and you can get these um, notched. And we can see here we have an opening in the center of our inner cover that will help with ventilation of our beehive and it will also give our bees access to come up through the hive if we're using a top feeder. Now we have our frames exposed and each one of our frames are 3 8 of an inch apart and that's an interesting fact about this beehive. Bees will do one of two things with extra space in a beehive. The first thing they'll do is they'll build honeycomb. So if they have extra space they will build comb. I actually know a beekeeper who removed a portion of frames out of a honey super to extract, forgot to put them back in and when he came back into his hive a couple weeks later the bees had completely built comb in that open space. The second thing they'll do is they'll propolize. And what that is, is bees make a resin-like substance called propolis from tree sap and other organic material. It essentially acts as a glue or a sealant. So bees will use that propolis to seal off areas of the hive. Now what Langstroth found when he invented this hive is that 3 8 of an inch is the perfect amount of space that a bee will not build comb in and will not propolize it. So Whatever size Langstroth hive you get, whether you get a 10 frame, an 8 frame, or a 5 frame, all your frames are going to be 3 eighths of an inch apart. The frames I have in this hive are a, they are a wooden frame with a right cell foundation. And this foundation is a food grade plastic foundation with a beeswax coating. Uh, it is my particular favorite frame and foundation to use. You can use uh, plastic frames as well and as foundation you have options. You can use um, plastic foundation, just beeswax foundation, or you can do foundationless frames in your hives. So once we remove our medium box, we have our deep. It is essentially uh, the same as our medium, it's just that our frames and our deep are a little bit bigger to accommodate the bigger size of this box. And below that we have our bottom board. This is a solid bottom board. You can also get these in a screen bottom board. And you, you, which one you'll use is dependent upon your climate again. I do use screen bottom boards here in Ohio. I just unfortunately didn't have one today that wasn't in use for demonstration. The bottom board is going to be longer than your hive to give the bees a little extra space on the end as a landing area when they come into the hive. So guys, that is essentially an overview of the Langstroth Beehive. If you have any questions or comments, please be sure to leave them down in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and have a blessed day.